फ्लोटिंग अवे देर व क्राउड ऑफ पीपल एट प्लेनेट जूम आई नो वे वी कैन गो सेट ड्रैप दे वर द ओनली वंस ऑन द स्पेस रॉकेट राइड दे पुट ऑन हेलमेट्स एंड डिड अप देयर सीट बेल्ट द राइट कट डार्क एंड बिगैन टू शेक When it stopped shaking, Rav looked down. His seat belt had disappeared. He was wearing a space suit. We are floating in space. Asha looked out of her space helmet in surprise. Finn began to panic. Then he saw they were joined to the rocket by ropes. This is amazing! Shouted Tess as she floated around. The stars and planets. Look like flickering fireworks," said Rav. He stared and stared. Rav wanted to get closer to the stars. "Don't go too far," said Finn. But Rav kept drifting further away. "It's a long way up." "Your rope," yelled Asha. But it was too late. Rav's rope unhooked, and he went spinning into space. Quick! Screamed Tess. She floated towards Rav, but she couldn't reach him. We need to work as a team," said Finn. "Give me your hand, Finn. Then unhook your rope," said Asha. Finn gripped Asha's hand tightly and nodded. Then Tess held on to Finn and unclipped her rope. She reached out to Rav. "Grab my hand," she called. Her voice shaking, Rav stretched out, and Tess pulled him to safety. Thanks, gasped Rav. Let's get inside the rocket," said Finn. They opened the rocket and got inside. That was scary," cried Rav. "I think we are going home," said Asha. There was still a crowd back at Planet Zoom. But Rav didn't mind. I'm just happy that I'm not floating in space forever.